What's up guys? It's your girl, J to J, in the cut, and I hope you're having a wonderful Wednesday. So today I have some special guests. Introduce yourselves. Vance and Josh over at Stay at Home Dads. I wanted it the hard way. No, it ain't been easy. Fighting so hard for your love. I like it. Yes, we do podcasts and sketches and we post every Wednesday. So you can check it out Stay at Home Dads on YouTube. You can't miss it. Mm -hmm. And check out the description box below as well. So. Yes, 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 yes. Yep. And check out our podcast with Jada. Oh, yeah. So post. we have one. It will actually be out today, April 16th. I just released my first ever EP. So be sure to stream it. Here's a little snippet. I don't want to be. playing with somebody's emotions or leading them on or if you're really just not looking for like a relationship let people know early on just keep it real people respect honesty out here and rawness and realness because it's not really common i'm gonna keep it real let people know your intentions early on and be straight up don't be like oh my gosh so honestly like right now like i think that we should date and i think it's like so necessary that like we hop into a relationship everything's gonna work out if you're not trying to marry me goodbye but just be like, you know, are you interested in taking this a step further? Because I am. And if you're not, I respect that. Because one thing you won't get back is time. So. <laughs> that definitely. Ring, that ring by spring saying. Oh, God. That ring where it's like your senior year by spring, you need to get a ring. Like you need to be engaged. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. No, I wouldn't lead with that. <laughs> be very intentional with what you're going to do. Yeah. But like you said, don't go overboard because you're just going to scare the poor guy or girl yes. away right oh my away. Gosh, yes. Cause either people are going to call you out if you're lying or you're just wasting everyone's time. Like you said, time yeah. you can't get back. And as big as this campus is, news travels very, very it's quickly. Weird. It's a small campus. Yes. Rumors yes. travel on social media. People will call you out. Mm -hmm. Like they will call you out on your crap. So don't play around with people because once you get a player reputation, it's hard to get out of that. I have a friend. Him messing that up and being a player freshman year is blocking so many of his potential blessings of girls who actually really would have held him down. So be careful because once you get a reputation yep. here <laughs> yeah that is honestly the best advice actually. I would say that I would, I would, I'd get that tattooed on yeah <laughs> it, it is weird how this campus it just everyone knows something about you yeah and it is such, it's a big campus and they'll numbers. take it and run with it oh, whether yeah. they know you or not I've had people that I've never had a conversation mm -hmm. with just look at me crazy like mm, I've heard about you and I'm like what have what have you heard Yep. And who told you? Because are they a valuable source? Let's, Probably let's not. start there. Okay, so how do y'all feel about dating apps? I feel like that's one way that you can definitely meet new people. But with dating apps, mm -hmm. you really have to be careful because a lot of people are just trying to wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. Or I've had people be like, you want to come over and smoke? Like, mm -hmm. you want to come over and drink? Or, I mean, mm -hmm. what's up? You trying to hang out with me? The like cl The classic you... Netflix and chill. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but there's always never any Netflix. So people try to get to the point out here. People do not play. It's YouTube video and chill. Yeah, <laughs> it's quick, literally quick. a 30 second Watch ad. a trailer. <laughs> Watch <laughs> a trailer. <laughs> Watch a trailer and get out. No, that, that's super true. Like we, said, like we opened up with, out here at Texas State, uh, you know, 90% are just wanting to be single and have their fun, you know? Yeah. And some might lie, like you said, play a game. But you know, that's just going to end up with your judgment. Dating apps do work. And it, I feel like dating apps are a good way to just meet people. Yes. I wouldn't say the first person you're matching with are like, you know. Going to be the one. Going to be the one. But at yeah. least you meet them. Just go out there with your guard up and knowing what's going on. You know? So you think dating apps are a good outlook? Like a, I, a way to meet people at least? I feel like they have a negative uh public view but mm -hmm. i feel like it's positive if you do it right you know yeah. if, if you're going in there being uh you know just trusting and like oh this guy likes me this girl likes me you know they want to mm -hmm. date then you're gonna get screwed yeah <laughs> i wholeheartedly agree with that yeah. i feel like dating apps are a great way to meet people mm -hmm. It's just a lot of people are on funny business and they're not Definitely. who they say they are. Definitely. So be careful with that. 
Well, I mean, I know personally, like, whenever, like, you know, like, I, you know, I, I had a profile on Tinder. <laughs> yeah. I, I had I, one, I put, too. I got banned. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> See, now, we'll get back to that. <laughs> but, like, I, 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 you know, I'd put, like, you know, I'm into hiking. I've hiked once. <laughs> 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 oh, like, I'm God. super into, like, 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 going outside and working out. This is not what peak performance looks like. Oh my god! Same with like like reading and that stuff. Like like you know, it's it's fake out there. It's yeah. fake information. Hate yeah. hate to call us out like that, but yeah. <laughs> had a dog. I had a picture of the dog, and everyone's like, yeah, "Oh my god, peak. I really yeah, I love your dog. I want to meet it." I'm like, it's my friend's dog. Or some people. <laughs> a lot of people when it comes to cars. So many yeah. guys like be standing in front of cars and stuff, and then whenever you text them, okay, do you want to link? Oh yeah, of course we can link. Yeah, I'm down. But uh, you gonna pick me up? You gonna come scoop? Everybody, <laughs> come what's, up, what's up? You gonna scoop? I'm like, I. I think, I think I'm gonna do an impression of you. Gonna come scoop. I think I think it's actually something I could go back on. You know, as a mm -hmm. freshman, I would talk to more people in my class. You know, you see that cute girl, cute guy in class. Mm -hmm. Go say hi to them. You know, you're probably like. You know, I don't see them because if you're if you're relying on going out to meet mm -hmm. the girl, you know that girl might not go out or that guy not might go out. You know, he yeah, might people be... will stand you up quick out mm -hmm. here. People will flake out here. Yep, I'm yep. talking frosted flake, flake. Mm -hmm. They will flake on you. Like, people out here will be so quick to stand you up, mm -hmm. like it's not even funny. This doesn't mean go in your classrooms and go in your classroom looking for love. Oh like, yeah, oh she's <laughs> smart, <laughs> man. You know, I'm gonna have to slide to the You know what I'm saying? Like, you know. I would say definitely reach out, mm -hmm. you know, and get their social media because you you never know, honestly, when you might need them for a classwork or something yeah, like that. You can start out the conversation like that and see if you vibe with them. But I would also say it can really backfire too. It's just like trying to date somebody that you work with as well. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah. what if you do fall out now? You're mm -hmm. getting put in a group yep. with them, and you got to work with somebody who hates your guts. That would like, be awkward. That's another thing about people out here. <laughs> if you're gonna date them, be very careful and really know who you're dating. <laughs> It's so sad that people don't know how to just go their separate ways without talking crap. People don't know how to be cordial yeah. out here a lot. A lot of the times it's, it has to be some snide comment, it has to be some subtweet, or it has to be them gossiping about somebody. Like, can we just go our separate ways and just not talk about each other? But I'll just keep on moving forward with or without you. With or without you. Holding on my tears back, chin up, rocking the fake smile.